is possible for the end of this calendar cycle simply to be the beginning of the next one, that we go into an upsurge, that we, that we wake up, that a new form of consciousness dawns. And um, uh, like I say, I do see signs of that happening everywhere around the world. Good, good. Uh, you know, that's one of the reasons I, I love so much having people like you on the show, because many of us don't have that experience of traveling around the world into the ancient sites and of seeing the fact that there actually are changes and people are awakening and there is light at the end of the tunnel because we just see the darkness of our daily lives. Yeah. And it looks as if the toilet's been flushed and we're all going yeah. down the tubes. Well, you know, people are ground down with with debt and 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 paying yeah. off massive interest payments, usurious rates of interest to greedy corporations, um, and 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 let's not underestimate the the climate of fear and hatred and suspicion that is being deliberately generated in the world by governmental and military and industrial forces and oh, by right. politicians. I, I have right. no respect for any politician in the Western world right now. Uh, to my mind, they're just all liars and thieves who are. Who, I would who, have who, to who, agree with you. <laughs> yeah, you know, who will use anything, anything at all, to keep themselves in power. And if that yes. means spreading hatred and fear and suspicion, then that's what they're going to do, even if it brings our whole world down in flames. When it's yes. obvious that what's needed is love. This is the answer yes. to everything. It's the answer yes. to everything. No more hatred, no more suspicion, no more fear. You know, there was ancient wisdom also in the, in the Christian teachings. When, when Christ said, turn the other cheek, he really meant it. If we respond to hatred and violence towards ourselves with more hatred and violence, then all we're doing is feeding that cycle of negativism and darkness. Yes. And somebody Absolutely. has to have the courage to break with it. Yes. Yes, absolutely. Because what we're doing to another, we're doing to ourselves. As you said, everything is entangled. In yeah. quantum physics, uh, I am you and you are me. So, you know, if there's something I see in somebody else that I don't like, that's something that's being mirrored back to me uh, for a reason. That yeah. I, and I need to look inside myself and see, well, what is it within me that I have not accepted about myself that I'm seeing over there? Because... I need to learn how to accept that other person for who they are. Exactly, exactly. And, and, and you know, that, there's a fundamental truth in what, in, what, in what you're saying there. These are learning experiences that, be, that are being offered to us. And, uh, yeah. and, and also, it's just common sense. The last thing you want to do with a fire is add more fuel to it. What you want yes. to do is, is douse it down. Yes. Um, and, 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 and allow peace to, to come back into the world. There's all these artificial divisions are being created, you know, this ho horrible thing called nationalism and, and patriotism. I have, no, I have no time for patriotism. Uh, I, it was rightly called the last refuge of the scoundrel. It's one of the most manipulated emotions uh, in Absolutely. our societies today, and it, it artificially divides one human being from another. Are we Muslim? Are we Christian? Are we black? Are we white? Do we live in the East? Do we live in the West? Yep. We're all the yep. same. We're all the yep. same. We're brothers and sisters. There's no difference yep. between us. No human life is more valuable or less valuluable than another. These are all precious gifts of the universe. Yep. And, and, and what is needed is, is, is love. Yes. Love yes. is the Absolutely. answer. Absolutely right. You know, if you if you go to another country or uh, starving people in Africa or China or any other country, Russia, the language of love speaks. We don't need to speak each other's language. You just can smile and you get that person. You it you works just miracles. Know. It yes, works miracles. Absolutely. And, we and then are you discover then you discover that that these people who seem so very different actually are just the same as you, that they have the same hopes, the same fears, Absolutely. the same ambitions, the same capacity for love as, as, as we do. And what a beautiful world it could be if we could just really learn that lesson. And, and, uh, well, and we're going to unite. have to. Yeah, we're going to have, we're going to, have to or we're going to go down the tubes. It's as simple as that. We're, yes, I mean, we're destroying everything natural that exists and we're just on the verge of a self extinction right now. Yeah, very close. Whether twenty, very... you know, whether twenty twelve comes about and turns out to be uh, significant or not, we're running out of everything. We're destroying we the rainforests, the oceans, the the land. We're dumping chemicals in. I mean, it's coming out of our pores practically. 
Yeah, yeah. And abs- absolutely. Just, what is happening in the rainforests is is just unbelievably criminal. wrong. Criminal. It's, it's an incredible, incredible evil that's being done there. This precious resource filled with wisdom, filled with plants that are teachers to us, being cut down and turned into soya bean farms to oh. feed cattle so we can have more hamburgers. It's insane. It's absolutely and, insane. And not just any soybeans, genetically modified soybeans. Yeah, yeah, exactly, <laughs> Ex- exactly. How can this? You know, we have to ask ourselves: How can this madness? Uh, how can this madness con- continue? And that's why the, the 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 theme of my book is the battle of good against evil, played out over time on the human plane. Yeah, it's uh, it's the fundamental issue of our times, and it's and and we need to wake up to this. Absolutely, absolutely, and. Uh... You know, it's clear that those with uh, other agendas, the military and the governments and the powers that be and the Illuminati, if you will, uh, the Bilderbergs and the rest of them, uh, all have their own agendas for power. And there's no heart and there's no love in those agendas. No heart and, and no so love at all. Completely unmerciful. So in fact, there's contempt. Yes. Total, total and hatred contempt. for us. Yes. 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 You're absolutely right. Contempt and yes. contempt and hatred for, for, for humanity is what fuels these dark powers that run our societies. Yes, and, and it's all translated into smiley faces on the television and it's it's uh we're it's really a travesty what the human the human the beautiful human soul is being subjected to and we are vast beings of light and yes. uh I'm I'm just thrilled that you're bringing this out into the open all over the world through your books and through your talking and sharing uh, your own truth with us. Thank you. Because Thank well, you. we have to wake up. We have to wake up. There's just no time left. There really yeah. isn't any. Yeah. I mean, we, even if the Mayan word it didn't exist, we we would have to come to the conclusion that we're running out of time. Yeah, totally. totally. We're at the 11th hour. We're standing right now at the edge of the abyss. And, Absolutely, uh, and 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 we still have the choice not to step over it, but we have to take control of our own consciousness. We have to resist the mind control in our society. We have to recognize, yeah. as you say, that we are all beings of light, filled with this mirac- miraculous gift of consciousness, with the incredible Absolutely. opportunity to be born in a human body, to learn and to grow on, and, and to develop on, on, on this beautiful and amazing garden of a planet that we've been given. Uh, tell us a little, just briefly about the Blue Angel. She's such a fascinating character, and and the realms that she works in. Um, I just loved the way she, you know, the, the way that you use various devices to introduce us to how things might work in the higher realms. Yes, um, she exists in, uh, in 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 parallel realms that operate at a different vibration from our own. Uh, and she, uh, as I said earlier, she uh, she's she's a powerful uh, supernatural being, but she cannot intervene directly in human affairs. She can't actually get down and roll up her sleeves and physically change <laughs> things in this world. Right. The way that she does it is through finding her- heroic and gifted people and working with them, and that's why she chooses my my two young uh, heroines, R- Rhea and Leone, living at opposite ends of history. Uh, to do battle with this demon and his forces uh, traveling through time. And she wakens them up. She wakens them up to what their responsibility really is uh, and and makes it clear to them that ultimately it's up to them, it's up to us humans uh, to decide. And and for me, she is the mother goddess uh, of this Mm -hmm. planet. There's a a strong uh, feminine uh, theme which runs through my novel. I, I, I knew from the beginning, from the moment I had the inspiration, that my my central characters were uh, women, not men, um, and you that could. and that and that a return to the sacred feminine, to the divine yeah. feminine, is one of the things that we desperately need in the modern world. Absolutely, There's way too much testo- testosterone-driven <laughs> violence going on right now. Uh, yeah. And we, we, we need to return to the, to the gentler, more nurturing side of ourselves. But I also, but I also show in this novel that, that women are strong and, and courageous beings. Yes, yes. And it's interesting, too, that, the, the, uh, the, that Sopa, who represents the demonic force, and it is demonic, 
yeah. Uh, I mean, I was scared. Uh, is starting to break into our world, and it's starting to manifest through individuals. But it works largely through the unconsciousness of masses. Yes, exactly. Whereas the other, I was just thinking about this, whereas the uh, Blue Angel, who represents the mother uh, goddess, I guess yeah. you could say, yeah. um, she's working through these beautiful heroines. Yeah, uh, exactly. And so it's really kind of the uh, Goliath against the giants. Yes, it, it is. It's it's it's, a, it's exactly that. It's it's, uh, it's, wow. it's 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 that story. It's a story of it's a story of courage and it's a story of love. Well, it is a beautifully written and wonderful book, and you know, I just I can't say enough good things about it. I loved it. I couldn't put it down, and I'll probably reread it. And I can't wait for you to come out with the next one. Okay. I just love the characters. I, it just feels like. Um, I know all these people and and the the archetypes and the metaphors that you put in there and and the deep wisdom it's just unparalleled thank you thank you thank you so much for 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 saying that and for and for seeing that in my book well you know we we will be out of time shortly so and I wanted to give you a few minutes to talk about you know where you are now what you're doing where people can find your books and uh, your other works and uh, so on and so forth so let's take a right. few minutes for you to do well, that well the first thing to the first thing to say it was it was impossible for me to find a mainstream publisher for this book uh, because it concerns uh, altered states of consciousness i think um it was just mainstream publishers wouldn't touch it but i found wow. a, i found a courageous small independent publisher called the Disinformation Company in New York, ah. uh, who've, who've um, published some other very important, uh, Im- important works uh, which go against the grain of our current society. Uh, oh, and they, they took Entangled on, uh, but they don't have the resources of a big mainstream publishing company. So this, this book may be hard to find in some bookshops. And, and what I would ask uh, readers who are interested to do, and, and, and indeed readers of my nonfiction to do, if they don't find the book in their bookstore, uh, please uh, get the bookstore to order it. That will yes. make the bookstore wake up that there's some interest yes. in the book. The, the title again yes. is in, Entangled, uh, The Eater of Souls, and, and I'm Graham Hancock, the author. So, so order it from your local bookstore if they don't carry it. And secondly, yes. it is available on uh, Amazon.com. Uh, sure. If people if people want to buy books that way, that's also very helpful. Uh, and and please, if you like the book, uh, put a review up uh, on on Amazon.com and sh- and share the word uh, with others. And and for those who want to explore the book without uh, putting up the ten dollars or whatever it is that it costs, um, then the the answer is to go to my website, which is www.grahamhancock. Dot com that's g r a h a m h a n c o c k dot com and there's a very prominent button right on the first page which leads you straight to the material on entangled and there you will find uh, a, a, a video trailer uh, runs for about a minute and ten seconds uh, which introduces the book you will also find uh, four chapters the first four chapters available free uh, online uh, and those can be read at your leisure. And if you find it uh, interesting, please please go go ahead and 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 order the book or buy it from Amazon.com and uh, empower me to do more of this because this is my path for the future. Oh, absolutely! And I I am so glad that you got on that path, Graham. It's a wonderful path, and this is so important. And and this is a really important seminal work that you've written. And uh, so I encourage everybody to read it because I loved it, and uh, I, like I said, I couldn't stop. I couldn't put it down. And um, so, uh, yes, get it, <laughs> get it today. Um, do you? Uh, do you? What, so where you're? You're on tour right now, are you? Yeah, I've been traveling in uh, in America for uh, for a month now. Um, okay. And uh, I've just, I'm just at the very end uh, of my tour. I'm in upstate New York uh, at the moment. Um, I have a presentation in Kingston in upstate New York uh, tonight. Okay. That's on all those details, by the way, are also on my website, uh, grahamhancock.com, a list of all my events and, uh, and appearances. And then to tomorrow night, which is um, Sunday night, the 24th, uh, I'm at uh, the Chapel of the Sacred uh, Mirrors in Wapakoneta oh. Falls, in upstate New York. This is Alex Gray's oh, um, 
place. He, he did have his Chapel of the Sacred Mirrors in New York City, uh, but he's now mu- moved it to Wappingers Falls in upstate New York, and I'll be doing a, a major uh, lecture with slides there uh, tomorrow evening, uh, sharing the, the research background uh, behind uh, Entangled, and, and wow, very much looking, that's looking wonderful into voice. visionary experiences. That would be something not to miss. <laughs> Yeah, I hope that uh, that people will come along. And as I say, the information there is also on my website. There's another button for my U.S. Uh, 2010 uh, lecture tour, and you can find details of that there and, and link through to Alex Gray and uh, be able to go and attend that presentation. Wonderful. Well, Graham, do you have any uh, last-minute things that you'd like to share with everybody before we have to leave? Uh, the the most Im- the most important uh, message that I have to share, although it's not easy, although it often goes against the grain of habits that we've got into in 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 this life, uh, is that is that love is the answer to everything, uh, oh. and that if we can banish hatred and fear and suspicion from our lives and replace them with love, then this beautiful world that we've been gifted with will continue to be a theater of experience for humanity, a place where we can learn and grow and develop and keep coming back to learn and grow and develop more. Because I don't believe that uh, death is the end. Uh, I'm certain that it's the beginning of the next great adventure. And I'm certain that we come back again and again uh, into human bodies to learn the vital lessons that are available for us here. Wow, that's beautiful. <laughs> thank you so much, Graham. And thank you for being on the show. And you can come back again and again, too, if you like. <laughs> I'd love to do that. Thank you so much All for right. having me on your show. It's been a real pleasure to talk to you. I, oh, I, thanks I, a lot, Graham. I really, I really appreciate your questions and, and, and your open-minded spirit. Thank you. Well, you're such a great beacon of light, and uh, uh, God bless you. <laughs> thank you very much. All right. Good night, everybody. Have a good trip.